this one yet. They're trying to call this back a 10 kill lead here for Team Charlie. That was the driest candy protein bar I've ever eaten in my life. Holy cow. It was like eating a bag of strawberry sand. Sorry. I don't know what I don't know why I ate that before the show. This is the brand to stay away from. It's called Power Crunch Protein Energy Bar. Wild berry cream. The flavor is not actually it that's not terrible, but it's so dry. Hydrolyzed whey protein in a cream filled wafer bar imagine taking dry ass vanilla whey and then putting it on a wafer that's what that was eating that's what i just ate wafer protein i got another one here for you guys too this one is robert irvine's fit crunch mint chocolate chip should we try this one would you like to watch me try it? What's up, peeps? Welcome to live mixing. I bet you haven't heard this sound in a while. Hello, 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 friends. What are we making today? I don't remember. I remember telling someone that we were going to try something this week. If that someone knows what that something was, please step forward. Hello from Sweden. Hello, Henrik. Henrik Verheyn. No, that was like a German accent. Hendrik. Hendrik. Is that what Swedish people sound like? Hendrik. Oh, Hendrik. I have no idea. All, all, everyone in the world is jealous of the Swedes and the Swiss. You guys notice that? And the Finnish. You ever hear someone say like, Oh, man, we got to be more like Sweden. We need to be more like Finland. We need to be more like Iceland. All of you guys over there in the Nordic countries, the world is jealous of you. You all, you lead the rankings in happiness. Is that true? Is it true? Or is it all a sham? Are you guys just putting on a good face? Every time I hear about politics, someone's talking about, oh, we got to be more like Sweden. On the left and the right. Funnily enough, there's a bipartisan push to be more like Sweden. It's true. It's very true. Except your taxes. We don't want to em we want all of your benefits without actually paying for it. How is that possible? Is that possible? 
America? Do you guys think that that's possible to get all the benefits of having a of having a well lubricated governmental system, but without paying for it, paying into it? Probably not. What are we making today, my friends? We got three empty bottles here. That means three batches. What did we do last week? I always forget. I feel like I just make too much juice that I forget what we made. What the fuck did we make last week? We made jelly bean? I think we did jelly bean. Oh, that was a big failure, wasn't it? Didn't that end up being a failure? I don't remember. Actually, no, it wasn't too bad. It actually wasn't. It wasn't terrible, but it wasn't good. Jelly beans are boring. Jelly beans are pretty boring. So we'll skip the jelly beans this week. Okay. We will skip the jelly beans. Bring me my motherfucking vape, boys! What's up, OG Carl here? Thank you for the sub, mod man Carl. The mod man is back. Just discovered a flavor that I want in a vape. Honeycomb Kit Kat. Hmm. Good luck. I don't know. I don't know how you would do honey. They're really. I, I don't really think anyone has done honey before. I don't think anyone has done honey. In terms of like just like straight up honey. Well, we have honeycomb. You might want to start there. Vape Train's Honeycomb. It's not... It's not honey, though, in the way that you want honey. That's the problem with all of these honeys. They they don't really hit the... I don't know. I don't know what it is. I don't know why it's so difficult for flavoring companies to emulate honey. You would think it would be pretty easy. But it's not. It doesn't seem to be easy. I thought someone else brought out something up about we should make something. I forget. F.A. Honey is the best? Is that a meme? F.A. Honey is the best, he says. It's like a tea, though. It's like a tea. It tastes like a tea. It tastes like a tea. It is closer than Vape Train's Honeycomb, that's for sure. But there is like a floralness to it that you might not want in like... Because if you're using like honey as like in like that scenario with like bakeries and pastries you don't really want like a floral note that's really good when you're doing like a tea they still have milk and honey milk and honey is not a honey though it's not a honey milk and honey is like its own thing What's up, Daniel? What's up, DTF? What's up, Chasing Cloud? See, good thing I looked at it because the fucking nipple came out. 
trying to define what milk and honey is in a, in a simple description. It's not a milk and it's not a honey. Is it a milk and honey mixture? It, it, similar to that? To me, it's almost like a... I don't know. I don't... It's almost like a... What would you guys define milk and honey as? Because it's not milk and it's not honey. I guess it's kind of like a... I guess it's kind of like a milk and honey tea without the tea, if that makes sense. Like if you did a milk and honey with tea, but you took the tea out of it, you're kind of left with that like consistency and mixture. But it's not quite honey in the sense of like, a br there's not like a brightness to it. River. Want to say hi? No? Okay. It's almost chocolatey. Well, some people think that. I don't I don't I wouldn't say it's chocolatey. Maybe like white chocolatey a little bit. Maybe there's like a little bit of like white chocolate in there. I like Loran's honey. Oh, I don't have that actually. I was thinking TFA RY4 double a honeycomb and a chocolate as RY4 double gets close on its own. Hmm. You would need some sort of like wafer though. You're not going to really get Kit Kat unless you have some sort of like sugar cookie or something in there. Milk and honey is too expensive? Is it really more expensive? I thought it was just like a regular priced Flavora flavoring. No? Am I wrong on that? Let's see. Let us see. Let us, let us, let us see. No, yeah, it's regular price. Should we try to mix up? You know, now I'm just seeing this coffee milk broth. Should we try to do something with this vanilla milk broth? Because then I taste it. I'm like pretty jazzed. Like, I think this would work good in a coffee. It literally tastes like vanilla milk broth. It's like spot on. There's a, there's definitely diacetyl in it. I can taste the butter. I could taste like a butter. That's pretty darn impressive. <laughs> definitely feels like there's diacetyl in there. I get cream, but not like sweet cream, but kind of sweet. Creamy molasses. Creamy molasses is not bad. It's not as rich though. It, like a molasses is pretty deep and rich. It's like it's like far less rich. I don't know. It's hard to explain. It's really hard to explain this ingredient. It's even harder when the nipple comes off and you can't taste it. Should we do something with honey? Maybe a honey milk, mi milk and honey with vanilla milk froth. Flavor heart honey is good, but yeah, it's got like a it's got like a thing you have to work with. It's not when I taste honey, I taste like a almost like a golden, sweet, bright. There's like almost like a butterscotch quality to it. Um. It is like a touch floral, depending on the type of honey that you get. I've had honeys that that did have like notes of like florality in them, but the, it's usually overpowered by like a sweet, bright caramel, butterscotch. Maybe not butterscotch, but more like caramel type note. Honey melon milkshake. Honey melon milkshake. Time for a frap. Should we try another coffee? Should we try a frappo? Frappe? Iced frappuccino? What is a frappuccino? Is it a blended latte with ice? 
I actually don't know. What is a Frappuccino? Okay, it is. Oh, okay, so it's a Starbucks. Starbucks invented the frap. Blended iced coffee. Okay, so if you blend it with ice, so it's like a uh, slushy type thing, then it's a Frappuccino. And it doesn't have to be coffee because they make Frappuccinos that aren't coffee-based. The recipe is derived from a fusion of various cold drinks, including the coffee frap. What's a coffee frap? A frap coffee, Greek frappe, Nescafe frappe, or just a frap, is a Greek iced coffee coffee drink. A Greek iced coffee drink made from instant coffee, water, sugar, and milk. Hmm. Let's look at Food Network. Five stars. Ugh. I mean, that doesn't even look like coffee. Or a frap. That looks like a malted milkshake. Put ice, espresso, milk, sugar, and vanilla in a blender. Blend until thick and smooth. Pour into two tall glasses. Top with whipped cream and drizzle of caramel sauce. Real flavor, real honey is dependent on the crops the bees are grazing on. Yeah. Yeah, like here in uh in Philly, there's like um they have these like local honey people that usually come. Like sometimes they go to Kate's work and you can buy honey from them. And like there'll be like different types of honeys that are like whatever the bees are on the farm. Because there's a lot of like Amish farms and shit. So um Usually you get some like really good honey. There's like orange blossom honey. There's like, there's all sorts of honey. <clears throat> I want to make a honey, a hot honey. You guys ever see, you ever have a hot honey sandwich? Have you ever seen a hot honey sandwich? We should do more food stuff on this show. Maybe I will. I think we're going to do more food stuff. We should make our own hot honey. We could do shit like that. We have like this whole library of ingredients too. We can do some wacky shit. Ah, uh, Fermented hot honey. Hey guys, and it's live. We're doing a real simple, fun fermented recipe. Fermented chili hot honey. And then we're going to drizzle it over. I'm going to make a little fried chicken. Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Snack, hell of a treat, hell of a dinner. There's like just chilies and honey. And you just let it sit. And then your honey, you put over chicken. And you have a sweet, savory. I love like the sweet and savory blend. You have like a sweet, savory, but like a heat coming through the back. Ooh, that sounds so good. Put that on with like some slaw or like some pickled red onions. Nice, like, good focaccia. <sighs> Yummy. Am I making you guys hungry? What are we mixing today? I don't know. We're thinking maybe something with honey. We don't know. I, we could switch it out. I don't know. I've, every honey one that I've done has been... Well, I think I've only... Off the top of my head, I'm only thinking of one. The honey kiwi turned out really, really, really good. The last coffee we've done... I don't remember if that was good or not, but the the, the frappuccino thing that I've made... It's like, it's really hard to beat, in my opinion. It's like one of the best coffees that you can make. I don't remember what I called it. What was the re recipe name? It's just like a caramel frappuccino. Is that what I called it? I don't remember what I called it. Caramel latte. Oh, that's what it is. Caramel latte. Smoked butterscotch latte. 
smoked butterscotch latte. This one was like, this is going to be really hard to beat. This one's going to be really hard to beat. What was that? We can try something, but with like, because I want maybe like instead of the vi the whipped cream, maybe we use the vanilla milk froth. Maybe instead of R by four double by Flavor Express, we'll use like up. Should we try to tweak it? Maybe we do a tweak. Is a honeycomb Kit Kat even a thing? Honeycomb Kit Kat. I've never heard of it. Mmm. Yeah, I'd imagine the honey is more like a butterscotch caramel type deal. It's probably less honey and probably more like caramel. Bright caramel. I don't know. I'd have to try this. I don't I don't really know. I'd have to try it. Anything with chocolate, though, is like, good luck. Good luck. Chocolate is the hardest profile to work with. We don't have any access to fats. Lactic acids. A McNutt Frappe. What is that? If I look that up, am I going to be uh, pleasantly surprised? Nutty McFrappe recipe. What do you guys think? Should we try that or should we do like something else? Rice Krispies used to be my all day vape. I am the DIY e-juice king. That's right. I'm still at it, baby. <laughs> What's up, army man? Hey, army man. Congrats, guys. 420. Jersey recreational weed. I saw the lines. I would love to open up a dispensary down there. Anyone wants to anyone wants to help me out, help me get a license to open a dispensary in New Jersey. I will do it. I'll pay for it. I will run it, I'll own it, I'll operate it. You guys will get free discounts. Free discounts as in like the discount will be free, but the disc but you'll still be getting a discount. <laughs> Do the tweak off the recipe I just showed. Army man says something else. Well, what else should we do? I need other ideas. What's up, Sam? I need some ideas then. Let's see. Let us brainstorm. Brainstorm. Well, let's look at the front page of all the flavors. That's always a good place to start. Mind fluids. Vaporino. Mind fluids. David and Tukul. Advocate for liberty. Let's see. Unholy vanilla. This is a Mind Floods and David Natuko live mixing via DIY Idris Discord VC collaboration. The dark vanilla is bringing some of the darkest vanilla notes you can find in a vanilla flavoring, while the MF vanilla is doing all the bright vanilla work here. Let's see, what's the recipe? Ooh, I don't know what MF dark vanilla is. I'm gonna have to check it out. That looks fun. Unholy Vanilla. I like that name. Salted Caramel Cream by Vaporino. Okay. Using some flan. Chocolate Swirl Milkshake. Betamax Vanilla Milkshake Remix. Lots of uh, medicine flour going around. Mmm, this looks yummy. That looks really good. Legacy. 
Strong strawberry. Not weak. Grape backo blunt. Based. <laughs> Need to be federal? I agree, man. I agree. I don't think it will ever happen. I don't know if it will ever happen. I don't know if the government will ever legalize marijuana. It's too much money in legalizing it. Our weed laws in Ohio are very strict. You're not allowed to smoke it at all, just edibles, medical only. I mean, at least that. I know some places are, it's not legal at all, like not even medically, right? Let's find out. States where medical marijuana is illegal. Let's see. Georgia. Let's see. What is mixed mean? Legal status mixed. Medicinal is only CBD oil. It's not decriminalized. So Georgia, it's illegal. Completely illegal. Indiana. Iowa. Kentucky. Are we seeing a trend here? Are we seeing a trend in the type of states where it's illegal? Completely illegal. Are we seeing a trend? Tennessee. Texas. Wisconsin. Interesting. A very interesting trend. Now let's see where it's fully legal. Alaska. Arizona. Two based states. Cali. Not a based state, but their laws on weed is very based. Colorado, of course. Connecticut, of course. Delaware. I want to see uh, like what's fully legal. D.C. Idaho. Fully illegal. Idaho is fully illegal. No, not even CBD is allowed. Wow. In Idaho. Not even CBD. What's Ohio? You can have medicinal. I don't know. You're saying that it's only edibles, though. So I, I would take your word. Jersey, fully legal now. New Mexico, fully legal. New York, fully legal. North Carolina, fully legal. Fully illegal in North Carolina. But it is decriminalized. Whatever that means. So, it's crazy to see all of these states in, like, black, where it's fully legalized. That is so cool. PA will probably be very soon, depending on who gets next voted in. I know Wolf has been trying to push it before he gets out. Let's go, Wolf. Let's get this legalized. Only four states where it's totally illegal. And I think because of these four states, I mean, just it's just like, a, it looks like the country's just not ready to legalize it. We'll see. I don't know. I think if a president... Like, say Trump is running again, right? We'll just use Trump as an example. If Trump says, I'm running 2024, let's go, baby, get on the Trump train. One of my new policies, before I leave office, before I end my terms, I will fully legalize marijuana. I think they would immediately win. I don't even care what the rest of their platform is. The rest of our platform could be like, I want to throw babies in a wood chipper, one baby per day. One baby per day gets thrown into a wood chipper, but I will fully legalize marijuana. I think people would be like, oh, well, let's do it. But they're too scared. Politicians are too scared to touch the weed issue. There's a lot of people that don't want it legal. Believe it or not, there's a lot of people. We've debated them here on the show. The season of Midweek Critique won't have a winner? It will. Yes, winner will be the, um, determined this Thursday. This Thursday.
decriminalize is legal? No, not really. It's really not because decriminalize means you can't really have a business. I'm saying like if it's fully legal, you can have a business, you can use banks, yada, yada. You want it to be fully legal. That way you have an actual, you know, thriving sort of industry behind it. If you guys have any free time, now is the time to get into marijuana if you haven't already. Especially in, if you're one of these states. Any one of these states here in the greens. Definitely think about it. What was the vape related shooting I heard a rumor of? I have no idea. Do you have like a link or something? Vape shooting? <laughs> this it? Court documents. Victim was selling vapes when Elwood shooting took place. Is this what you're talking about? No charges to be filed against vape shop employee who shot robbers. Cool, dude. Get him. Yeah, I don't know. Looks like they just use vaping in the headlines so people click on it, I guess. Ooh, vaping's in the headlines. It must be bad news is usually what people think. Is that what you're talking about, Deb? The, the, the guy who shot the robbers? Kids were 15, 16. Yeah, that's the thing these days. And that's the problem that I think a lot of cities are having with crime is that these kids are like, the people doing these crimes now are like 13 years old. So it's like, what do you do when a 13 year old is just like shooting people? <laughs> you know what I mean? Now, I think a lot of them are starting to to charge them as adults to try to, to try to because at initially if you start seeing that like oh it's like a few you know these young kids 13 year olds are shooting at people i don't want to completely destroy their lives we have to punish them of course but we don't want to like charge them as an adult just because you know we want to make sure that they have some sort of like second chance um but it's happening so often now where it's become such a big issue and it's becoming like the carjackings um the shooting there's like so much violent crime going on in cities in cities all across america and they're usually done by like these really really young kids and i think a lot more cities are like all right we're gonna have to start charging them as adults to hopefully try to scare them away from doing this we'll see if it works i don't know what's not working is like these liberal sort of policies of just oh we'll just get them help and we'll just do this it's like no these kids are like they are they they need some they need some sort of structure in their life and unfortunately it looks like prison is that answer <laughs> either that or the military 15 year old killed a 21 year old over a vape uh, where, could you go do you guys have like a an article that i can see or something Oregon Republicans in a fully legal state want to annex with Idaho a not fully a fully not legal state. Why? They want to annex from the United States? <laughs> Why? Yes, Capia. Yes, I just explained it. Yes. All right, what are we making? Should we make some weed flavored vapes? Should we make weed flavored vapes? Should we try to do an iced coffee? I kind of want to try to do an iced coffee. An iced frappuccino let's try to do an iced frappuccino press one in the chat if you want to see an iced cappuccino an iced frappuccino 
We'll try to do like my smoked butterscotch latte. We'll try to take this and turn it iced. We'll just try. We'll try it. We'll try it. it it'll be fun. We'll try. You guys know me. I don't like most vape coffees. So this won't be like the kind. Of, if you've never had this, this is really good. It's not like like dirty espresso beans. It's like a very, very good blend. I'm going to see if I can do it iced. I'm voting one as well. So any twos, put up, put your twos up because you're going against a bunch of ones. I don't think I'll never. I don't think I'm gonna do chocolate unless it really, really calls for like an accent. Like if we're gonna do chocolate, I think the only time I'll really do it is if it's like something, something, something chocolate. I, I, I chocolate is like a main note. Is like it's just it never really works unless it's like a chocolate milkshake, and in that sense, it's pretty easy. But other than that, like milk chocolate, chocolate bar, you know, any sort of like milk chocolate, it's just like it's not, it's not, it's not fun. Army man, Brad, you can't vote three times in a row. <laughs> All right, let's count. I see a lot of twos, but I see a lot of repeating twos. Any more ones? All right, we have one. Sean, Capia, Dick Fackins, Douglas, Daniel, me, Marsha, Curmudgeon. There's eight. Adrian says minus ice says nine. Chasing clouds, that's ten. Is croissant worth getting? I don't think so. Some people like it. I don't think it's worth getting. Army Man Brat, number two. Freedom. Face me. Lordy. Mind floods, Daniel, David, Barry, freedom. Uh oh. Twos. If you get one more two, Dan uh, daytime Frank. We're at eleven versus nine. It's close. Twelve versus nine. Any more twos? Thirteen versus nine. 14 versus 9. Yeah, 2 is anything else. 2 is, two just means not what we're voting on. <laughs> 10. Fiddy puts 10 for the 2s. 15 versus 10. 2s need 5 more. 11. 12. 16. Versus 12. Sam's just fucking around. <laughs> 13. <laughs> All right. It looks like we're doing coffee. We're doing iced coffee, guys. We're doing iced coffee. Let's change the name of the show because I keep forgetting to do this. I, I need to make sure that I change the name of the show to whatever we're making. Okay. Making e juice, so we're gonna rename it to Making Iced Coffee E juice. Save. Making Iced Coffee E juice. Iced Coffee. Ugh. I love iced coffee, guys. I love coffee, okay? I love coffee. I really, really, really do. It's my favorite. It might be my favorite thing. Might be my favorite thing. What do I what do I consume more than coffee? I don't even consume water as much as I consume coffee. Isn't that wild? Iced coffee. Iced caramel frap. That's it. Iced caramel frap. Alright, we need I'm thinking we go with up. 
as our coffee base. I think up is the move here. The problem with up, sometimes I feel like there's like a little bit too much of like a wafer note. You guys know what I'm saying? Which is why the Flavor Express RY4 double is usually the way to go. Didn't we try something recently and it was like a coffee? Maybe one of these new Capellas. We tried something recently and it was like a coffee. I forget what it was. Yeah, to me, Flavor Express RY4 Double is the move. It's the move. Because there's like a bright caramel note to it. Oh, it's so good. I can I can already I can already taste it. No one has up? Everyone has up. Everyone has bought an up. Flavor art up. Come on. Everyone has up. It's the only good coffee. Is it possible to inhale caffeine? It is, yes. It is. You, you can consume caffeine, uh, I guess, ins, insufflated? Ins, insufflated? How do you say that word? Insufflate? Insufflate. 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 You can insufflate it. I think that means to inhale when you insufflate. I could be wrong. Meth, yes, F-A up, no. Well, do you guys have Flavor Express RY4 double? I would imagine more people have up than Flavor Express RY4 double. F-A Espresso is good? You're banned. You're banned forever. Never come back. <laughs> Insufflation to snort. Yeah, maybe it means to snort. What does it mean to, in I guess, inhale? I guess it's just the words is just inhale. I thought insufflated mean to be like, yeah, I guess it is to snort. I guess it is snorting. Are you sure? What does insufflate mean? It says here to blow. Into a body cavity. I guess it means nose. I guess it means to like to inhale through your nose. To blow or breathe in something. So it does mean, see? It does mean to breathe in something. Oops. To blow or breathe in something. Medically, to blow into some opening or upon some part of the body. I was right. You were wrong. Take that. Bye bye. I can't hear my drop. You <laughs> reverse blow through a straw, true. <laughs> yes, but you can inhale caffeine. You can. It works similar to to nicotine actually. People put people have made caffeine vapes. I'm pretty sure. I, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure someone has done that. VSO espresso. Well, I, ha I have VSO something. Hold on.
Cafe Mocha. VSO Cafe Mocha. It tastes pretty good. We maybe use Should we maybe use this? I got a bunch of SC coffees. I have SC espresso. I'm already not going to use that. I have SC cappuccino and SC cafe mo caramel mocha. They just seem like so nutty. It's insane. I can just smell the nuttiness. I can smell the APness. They're too, way too nutty. They literally taste like nuts. What were they thinking? What other coffees are there? Is American iced coffee based on milk or is it more water based? I mean, all right, well, you go to get an iced coffee, like a good iced coffee is usually cold brew, just poured over ice, and then you just put a little cream and sugar in it. Shut up! I don't know if that's more water-based. I guess that would be considered water-based. Because there's ice, right? But there is like you do put cream in it, unless you just want it like an like an iced americano. There's a lot of people like iced americanos, which is just like espresso, water, and then ice. I don't I don't like the Brazilian Wonder Flavors Brazilian coffee. I don't like the crispy coffee. Well, let me see. Crispy coffee.
Crispy coffee, maybe. Crispy coffee, maybe. Crispy coffee, maybe. We'll keep this one on here. We'll put it next to the ups. <laughs> coffee vapes suck. They do, but not this one. This one that won't suck, I promise. I hope. SSA tiramisu. I don't know if I have that. Yes, I do. SSA tiramisu. Flavor art. Why don't you have a tiramisu? Or do they? No. That's like an actual like tiramisu, weirdly. There's almost like a alcohol, like a burnt like a not brandy, but like a, almost like a rum note to it. I don't know, maybe maybe it could be useful, I'm not sure. Does Flavor Art have a tiramisu? Am I crazy? Tiramisu. They do. Flavor Art does have a tiramisu. Let me see if I have it. do have it this one's called flavor art tiramisu well it's re it is rebottled though it's like so like it's almost ashy it's almost like an, an espresso powder maybe maybe Terrible Sue. You don't like tiramisu? I love tiramisu cake. I love it. High voltage vapor made a caffeine vape. Yeah, I remember I think I know I think I know what you're talking about. Mocha and cream. Let me see if I have that. Yeah, I don't I don't have that one. Well, I think we're going to try the new Capello's uh, vanilla milk froth as like the whipped cream that I have. Caramel coffee maybe. Yeah, let me see. Problem with my Perillum is that I don't have it batched out, which sucks. Ow! Something spilled over here. Like, I guess a concentrate like spilled and it smells like green onions. It's really off putting.
need to go through it. I, I don't feel like going through it right now. I need to uh, I need to batch them out. Something's gonna have to leave though. If I put Perillum up, someone's gonna have to, someone's getting the axe. Someone's getting the axe. I think it might be Flavor West. I think it's time for Flavor West to take a seat off of the off of the throne. All right, let's do uh let's do what I want to do, okay? Because whatever you guys want to do is wrong. Whatever I want to do is correct. We're going RY4 double. F E R Y4 double. What's this recipe here? 1.25. Easy. 1.25. But I'm also going to add crispy coffee at a quarter. At a quarter, we're going to go vanilla milk froth. Three percent of it. I want like a good amount of it. What can I swap out for flavor art caramel? I don't know if I can. I mean, I could maybe go Flavora Caramel. DFA, all right, we're coming out of a soda again. I'm telling you, dude. This RY4 double should be just renamed Caramel Coffee.
I mean, we could go caramel candy instead of flavor art caramel. We need like a bright caramel. Maybe we do. Maybe we do one percent of this. Well, how do? How much do I have here? Maybe we do one percent of this. Two percent of this. That's our caramel drizzle. And then I have it with butterscotch. For it to be smoked butterscotch. But I'd rather it just be caramel. You know? I'd rather it just be caramel. Let's try this. Let's just we, we need a we need a batch one. Let's try this. This is our batch one. I'll be right back. I have to do have to wash one of these pipettes. Mocha? Not creaming so oh wait 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 we need ice We need ice. We forgot the ice. Actually, honeycomb is probably not a bad idea. Do we go with like a menthol? Like the Polar Blast? I have WS3. We could go WS3. Maybe we try WS3 first. Colado, Colado. All right, put your ratings in chat now. What do you think out of 10? What do you think that this first batch is going to be? Put your ratings in chat. I want to see ratings in chat. Ratings in the chat. Go. All right, let's go. TFA Caramel Candy. Oh, let me make sure. Okay. 2% caramel candy.
Zero. Flavor Arc Caramel. You guys have no faith. Crispy coffee. I think this is going to be a 9 out of 10. That's what I think. Well, you can't even see me. I'm like so far over. Literally like a fucking drop of caramel coffee. Of crispy coffee. Oh. RY4 double, baby. The vanilla milk froth is, should be the secret weapon. When I tasted it, I couldn't stop thinking about how this would work with a coffee. We'll see. We'll see what the culotta does. Any whipped cream? Good old fashioned whipped cream. We might need like an ice cream. I, I'm wondering if whipped cream might not be enough. We might need like ice cream. We'll see. WS3. We're leaving 20 of them home. 1%. We just want a nice little chilling effect. Okay? I don't want to blow my head off with cooling. Super sweet. I think this is going to be a 10 out of 10. I think this is going to be a masterpiece. Two out of seven. <laughs> Thank you. 2.5. Dick Packens, four and a half. Adrian has faith, six. It smells like a 11. It smells like an 11. Okay? Whatever that's worth. I got to cut my hair, guys. Putting my hair up all the time is giving me headaches. Like, every day I get a headache at the end of the day. I've had enough. Could be all the meth that I'm smoking, but I'm pretty sure it's my hair. A solid 2 out of 10, says Breno. Oh, my God. R by 4 out of 10. True. Polar Blast? Should I have Polar Blasted it? I don't want it to be like too minty. But I do think mint might be a better choice here. Because it's going to have... It's caramel. Mint caramel kind of works a little bit. It might be better than just ice. We'll see. We're not going to know unless we do a B1. Donate my hair? I don't think it's long enough. You need like a foot a foot of hair. I would donate it if it was long enough.
All right, here we go. Let's let's give it a hand test. Fascinating. Fascinating. If you've never had a good coffee vape, I implore you to try this one. This is a really, really, really good recipe. Like, not joking. This is a fantastic recipe. I don't know how coffee you get from it. It's, it's pretty desserty, but I consider it a coffee. All right, the WS3 is definitely interesting. Here's the vape. <laughs> it tastes like an iced coffee. Like an iced caramel cappuccino in a weird way. It's not bad. The ice is so weird, though. Like, this would be phenomenal without ice. But with ice, it's still good, but it's like you get, like, a really good sort of caramel coffee and then ice. <laughs> I don't know how to blend it. We have to figure out a way to blend this better. How do we make coffee? How do we make iced coffee? They, it's like completely separate. It's it's like completely. But maybe that's the point. Maybe that's a good thing, right? I wonder if Kate can try it. Kate, I don't know if she's home. There is like a mintiness from the WS3 that I don't really like. I think if we go to a half a percent, then I don't think it'll be too noticeable. I think 1%. <laughs> I need someone else to try this. What's up, Cicero? I mean, more blended in terms of like they it literally taste like two different vapes. Like I'm vaping a coffee vape, and then I'm, I'm vaping a caramel coffee vape, and then I'm vaping a ice. <clears throat> That's what it tastes like. And I have no idea. It's kind of hard to judge also. It's kind of hard to, because the ice is like kind of like distracting. MTS Wizard? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Steeping maybe would help, yeah. I mean, it's still a 10 out of 10, so you guys were all wrong and I was right. And because none of you can taste it, you're just going to have to take my word for it. What's up, swanky pants? It's so weird. It's so weird, but somewhat addicting at the same time. This is technically culotta. WS3 is technically culotta. Maybe we instead of whipped cream, we go let's go ice cream with it. I think if we add more cream, it'll it'll help blend it better.
Avoiding the separation of those two creams eludes me. If anyone has achieved this, please tell us your secret. Oh, you're saying it won't help? Create like a, an ice cream won't help? Use Polar Blast instead? But see, Polar Blast has a mintiness to it. That's the problem. This is coffee with one drop of caramel. It just doesn't look that way because these coffees are like super fucking potent. Coffee ingredients are like really, really strong. You don't, you don't need a lot of it. It is like, uh, it's literally, it's like fascinatingly addicting. It's kind of like the Nanner Bear phenomenon. It kind of already is blending. It kind of already is blending. Bay, boys. What's up, Gonzo? We're mixing up an iced coffee, an iced caramel lap, uh, frappuccino. Uh, I'm afraid if I go with if I go with Polar Blast, it's gonna be too um. Oh, let me change my mic, by the way. Let me do this while you guys are having a grand old time. I'm going to change my mic. Let me know if this sounds better, okay? How does this sound? Does this sound better at all? I it's I was listening back to one of the shows and it sounded like muddy. Mic check, mic check, mic check, mic check, mic check. How does this sound? What if I just turn the compressor off? Is this too low? What about now? Is this better? What about now? Is this better? Mic check, is this better? This is basically with no compression. Is this better? Is this better? Is this better? Sounds good? Does it sound better though? Hopefully this sounds better. I just turned the compression off and then just turned the gain up. Still static? You're getting static? Not much difference. Better? Okay. Stronger? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, good. I want a nice strong sound. I just want it to sound like clean, clean and clear, if that makes sense. Because I was listening b back and it sounded... Let me actually just listen. Why don't I just listen? You're going to hear an echo, okay? Don't freak out, chat. Not much difference. Mic check, mic check. Better? Okay. Stronger? <laughs> okay. <laughs> We maybe use 
clean and clear. I don't know if it sounds any better. I'll have to listen back after the show. All right. Anyways. Mic check, mic check. Mic check, mic check. Clean and clear and under control. Amazing. All right, back to the drawing board. We're dropping the whipped cream. We're going ice cream, baby. What ice cream should I try? Should I try... I think Liquid Barn's ice cream is going to be too sh too too rich. I need something that's a little less rich. Sounds good. Okay, good. We need something to, we need a little something creamy. I have vanilla swirl in the, ori in the original recipe at 2%, which does a good job, but I want something like a little richer than that, but not as rich as like Liquid Barnes ice cream. I'm thinking TFA ice cream. I know some of you guys don't like it, but... Oh, yeah, maybe SSA. What's the difference between their ice cream and their ice cream vanilla? Does anyone know? Has anyone tested them side by side? Let me fix that too. Does anyone have an idea? An idea? Oh, I listened to this this speech woman on TikTok. That was ice cream vanilla. Oh, that's the move. Yeah, I'm not even going to bother with the other one. Ice cream vanilla. I was listening to this speech woman on TikTok and she explained how some British, I guess, European British, I, I guess British or English, there's like how they add R's to certain words. So it's usually after some after a vowel and then the next word is a vowel. So like instead of saying Paula is here, it's polars here, polars here, polars here, polars here. And how that translated into the somewhat native northeastern Bostonian New England type English that we have. It's really fascinating and I implore someone to watch it. Polars here. Oh, hello, Paulers coming over. Paulers coming over. That's where idea comes from. That's where the term idea, when someone says, I have an idea. He's got a bad idea. 
Because usually it would be idea and then another vowel word after that. And that's where the idea kind of comes from. So like, uh, so it'd be like, instead of his idea is, it'd be like his idea is, his idea is bad. Something like that. Isn't that fascinating? I thought it was, I thought it was interesting. Okay. All right. Get off my back. God damn it. I thought it was cool. And no, I'm not going to use WS23. I'm using WS3. Bitch. Yeah, the Bostonian, like, New England accent, like, stems from that in a weird way. I, I, she does a better job of explaining it, but. And she's really fucking good at these accents. Like, she does them spot on. It's crazy. She can do every accent under the in the world. It's crazy. We drag pals down the street for a living. Yeah, <laughs> true. <laughs> drag them down the street. He's got a bad idea, isn't he? Paula, Paula, Paula's coming. What else is in Kula? I think Kula to... I th I'm pretty sure Kulada is just WS23. But I could be wrong. I wonder if there's anything else in it. Kulada 3. Well, that's not WS3. Kulada 3. Yeah, it should just be WS3. For all intents and purposes, it is. Polar's coming. Well, WS23 is just so much stronger. It's just so much stronger. The flavor is not much different. There's really no difference in flavor. It's just like more ice. More icy. I would disagree. I would say WS3 blends better. It's just easier to work with, really. Because I really don't want much ice. Like, I might even go a half a percent here. I need to... Let's try it one more time. Let's try batch one one more time. There is like a there is like a mintiness that I don't really like though. It is starting to blend down though. Oh, it's like a weird, I don't know. It's starting to be like What, ha what happened? <clears throat> Maybe we scrap the ice. But then we just have this recipe. <laughs> we do. Then we just remade this. <laughs> no, we need to keep the ice. We'll keep the ice. Do I go Polar Blast? And maybe like a quarter? And embrace the minty? 
three percent. I let's try this. Let's try this. Let's try with the polar blast. No, WS3 is like literally just a different compound. It's the same compound, it's just weaker. It is, I guess you could call it a diluted WS23. I don't know exactly what the like the chemical composition, the difference between them are. Um Here's the WS3, which is like basically just the ice portion of the menthol. This is stronger than WS3? Well, that probably has somewhat, oh no, it's less. WS12 has less cooling impact than WS3. But like WS3, it exhibits little or no taste and flavor, sensory evaluations. Um, this says this has a mo less cooling impact than WS3. Interesting. This says it's less. So when they like their scale, I wonder if it goes three, five, twelve, twenty-three in terms of strength, where twenty-three being the weakest. Let's try polar blast. Let's try Polar Blast, and we're going to try Ice Cream at 3. And then I think the rest is good. Polar is here. Polar. 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 Do I have an accent? When you guys listen to me talk, are you guys like, why does he talk that way? Why does he call it caramel and not caramel? Caramel. I need caramel candy. I'm going to try to talk perfect. Now I will drip in my caramel candy at 2%. They're saying WS3, according to Simrise, WS3 is the strongest of the ices. And everything is compared to WS3. Is there a difference between Pure and Cap SS? Yes. Well, I don't know about Purilums, but I know like TFA has a sweetener. Super sweetener, that is, it's just not the same. It's not the same. From what I've tested, 
Nothing comes close to Capella Super Sweet. I don't know why. I don't know what it is. I don't know what they're doing that's any different. But it's much better in terms of... I just... I don't recommend anyone get a sweetener other than Capella Super Sweet. Unless you want like a weaker sweetener. Polar. Ice cream vanilla. What's the difference? No one has to mention the difference. Or if you did, I didn't see it. What's the difference between SSA ice cream vanilla and SSA ice cream? Just tasting vanilla ice cream tastes like what I want. So I didn't try it here. Let's, let's just back of the hand it real quick. I mean, it tastes similar, but it does taste like ice cream vanilla just has vanilla in it, where the other one doesn't. All right, we're doing Polar Blast at a quarter, so like one drop. Maybe a drop and a half. Come on. Not too much. Just the vanilla note. It's fascinating how they would have both. I don't know what scenario where you wouldn't want that vanilla note. This vanilla milk froth is good. Got a lot of vanilla going on. Now our WS tree. Oh, no. No, 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 no. We did the polar blast already. Oh my God, imagine if I added that. Super sweet. In my head, in my head. All right. Let's see the ratings in chat. What do you guys think this rating is going to be? I'm thinking this one is going to be a 12 out of 10. I have faith. Let's see those ratings. Let's go. I would say batch number one is like a 4 out of 10. Like, if I'm going to actually rate, I would say it was like a 4 out of 10. So, knowing that, what do you think this batch is going to be? Four point five says Grump. Well, when I say minty, it's not like a mintiness. It's like a, the way that the ice is like interacting with the recipe is like producing it like fools your brain into thinking there's a minty note because it's not like a it's not like ice with fruit which it's easy to sort of like blend in when you're working with like vanillas and ethyl maltols and other things like that sometimes it can come across as like a little bit minty when it when it when you don't mean it to be but here we're just kind of embracing the mints with the polar blast we're just gonna just use less of it six out of ten says marcia there we go. That's what I like to see. 5.5 5 out of 10 by the end. Cap Super Sweet is overrated. You're getting banned for saying that. You are now 
banned all of your credibility okay much less ice let's give it a drip I think the Polar Blast is the move. Polar Blast at a quarter of a percent seems to be spot on where I want it. This is better. This is better. See, you guys don't, we don't need to steep. We can work within the confines of a shaken vape and produce, produce good results. That is an iced frappuccino if I've ever had one. There's actually less of like a of like a mintiness. Surprisingly enough. I, w I would like a little bit more there is a mintiness that is like a mintiness that's um there is a little bit of a mintiness actually there is a little bit of a mintiness it's like right on like that tail end when you like kind of like smack your lips at the end that i wish i could get rid of in some way I think what it is, it's the blend of the ice and the caramel is producing it in a weird way. Because it's not a minty, but it, it's tricking my brain into thinking it's minty. But this is a much more sort of like accurate representation of a fucking iced frappuccino than the first one. Ooh, man, that vanilla ice cream is good, too, in this. This is pretty fucking good. This is a nice, fun iced coffee. This is a really good iced coffee. Daniel, do you have an iced coffee vape that you make? I want to compare it against this one. If I use Cool's Polar Blast... You are right. The polar blast is the way to is is the move here. It's the move here. Who who else said that it blends better with the creams? You're right. It it does. It just blends better with creams. Do we know what polar blast is? Is polar blast WS23? Do we know? Or is there flavorant in it? Does anyone have any idea? Oh, it looks like it's just WS3. It looks like it's Kulata. <laughs> it's funnily enough. It looks like it's just Kulata. According to this, I don't know what Frescolate ML is. Is that like a preservative? Simrise. Going back to Simrise. It's just like another coolant. I'm imagining this is like, well, this says menthol free coolant. <laughs> well, in any case, it looks like it's this, it looks like it's just similar. Maybe their blend is just better. Maybe it's just blended better. I don't know. It 
it's better. It's just smoother. It's smoother and softer and just is more accurate to like ice, in my opinion. Because when, when you drink an iced coffee, it's not like drinking a soda and ice where you're drinking it and it's like a blast of like refreshing. It's like a nice, cool, cold, creamy, icy deal. And that's what this kind of represents really well. This is fire. This is a fire recipe. I think. I think it's pretty good. I would say this is like a... This has taken a considerable jump up in score. I'm curious how this would steep. Because if it does steep in the way that I think it will, we'll probably need to bump the Polar Blast up a notch. Just a notch, maybe to a half a percent. Your recipe needs to steep. What is it? Do you have a recipe? Let me see it. You can post a link. Yeah, Bob, you're the one. Yeah. Shout out to Bob. You were right. The Polar Blast was the move. Even though you think that it's different than WS23, I'll let you slide on that. Or WS3. <laughs> I guess we're all wrong. I guess it's just culotta at the end of the day. <laughs> it's just a better culotta maybe. Rate the strength of the of the ice on a scale from one to ten. The ice is like a one and a half. It's like a just. It literally. It's like if it's, a, it's like what you want in like an iced coffee. It's like just enough to give you like a nice cooling sensation, but it's not distracting in any way. It's not really adding any flavor to the recipe. What I'm getting is like a caramel latte, a little bit of like creamy milkiness. And then a nice sort of like cool coffee finish. It's a really well done recipe. It's got like a satisfying vape. There's intrigue to it, right? Because this is not really, I mean, I don't really vape a lot of stuff like this, like iced, like Nanner Bear type recipes, right? Like where it's like ice and then like a deep, rich sort of note. So to me, there's like this interesting kind of like contrast between those flavors, between the coffee and the ice. Um, you get like all of the notes, you get a body, you get a middle, you get a top note, you get a finish. It's satisfying. All the fundamentals are there. I think in order to perfect it, I would like to somehow, I would like a better coffee. I would like to just build out a better coffee, you know, we're just kind of at the mercy of coffee ingredients. I would like something maybe a little bit more chocolatey. Not not mocha-like, but maybe something like more milk chocolatey. That would, maybe that would help. I'm not sure. Black Pumpkin's ELR. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll pull it up. I just want to see it. Maybe I'll mix it. We'll see. In my yard. Oh yeah, baby. Do you put ice in this? You're saying VSO espresso? I don't have it. I'll pick some up. I only have their cafe. Mo oh, let me see. I might have it. Let me double check. I don't think I do have it. I don't think I have that one. I'll have to check it out. Lotta Latte. Okay, I'll check that one out too. Yeah, it's like a one and a half on the ice. Like, it, I wouldn't consider this like an iced vape. 
I wouldn't consider it an icy vape. It's really just there to just sort of What's up, Bermuda? Sorry, I wasn't seeing, I wasn't looking in the Twitch chat. I apologize. Appreciate the sub. Well, I think if you, if you pump the ice up, you, you run the risk of just like overpowering the recipe. It, it's up to you on how you want to do it, but you might need to do some tweaking there. I think this was a massive success though. I think I think I got my I think I got the job done. There's still some room for improvement, of course. Still some things I would probably want to change. It's like addicting too. You want to keep vaping it in a weird way. I want to try this with an iced coffee. It'd probably pair up pretty nicely with an iced coffee. All right, folks. We don't even need a third batch. We're going to end it here with a little karaoke. To close us out, I want you all to have a great, great evening, a great weekend. In the Hopefully you had a great Easter. Zone, it's like Did you have a good Easter? I had a good Easter. I'll see you guys on Monday, Monday, Monday. Next week, we're crowning the Midweek Critique Season 6 winner. And, um, yeah. I would do 70 30 for Brona. Sorry, yeah. Mistaken, but you see.